Hello my diecast friends, a short review about this super cool Hummer. It's from the brand Forces of Feller and it comes in a 132 scale. Now I've got the box right here. Let's put the camera a little bit over here so we can see the whole box. As I told you, a 132 scale Forces of Feller Combat Prova Machines. So parts are die cast and parts are plastic. Um, here we got a picture of the Hummer and it comes with a lot of accessories. So that is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the Hummer itself. So here it is and it's got an opening door. You can see there's a soldier behind the steering wheel. And you can take that soldier out if you want. And there's also one on top controlling the tank killer. And you can also take this figure out and place it somewhere else where you can close the hatch if you want. And we got an opening hood. Here you see some details. And this door won't open. So the body is made of die cast, but doors are plastic, except for this one, that one that can't open. Um, you can also open this right here. This is also metal, by the way. And we see some accessories here in the back. You can open this one. This is plastic. And you can take this out if you want. And also this one, this is loose. Oh, there we go. And also this piece is loose. Not sure what it is. I think this is uh, ammunition for the tank killer on top. So we got an antenna right here. Whoop. And I dropped it on a black carpet. So it's very, oh no, here it is. So here it is and it is very flexible. Um, you can also open this door. We can have a look inside. You can see some of the details. That's yeah, better. And of course, I like that it's uh, weathered. It looks totally awesome with all the mud on the side. Now, it comes with accessories, like I said. So, we got some uh, jerry can. This is one of them. Here, I got a bag. Uh, let's see, let's see, we also have a folder of the brand. There's also an Abrams tank from this same set or series, also from Kuwait. So here we got a tripod and you can take this off and place it on the tripod. Take a closer look at the tripod and the tank killer. Looks very cool. Like I said, you can take the soldier out of the car. Here we got the soldier. Not much details on the face, but for the rest, it looks pretty cool. So you can place him like this. And here we got some jerry cans. So that is a very cool. Um, do you want to take a look at the folder? Why not? Why not? Why not? So here we see a jet fighter. Never seen this one. Uh, we got a tank. Infantry tank from World War II. Also comes with accessories. They have a lot of World War II stuff. Half track, half wheels. Normandia. Also with a lot of accessories. Another World War II tank. And another one. 
Mm, I've ordered a couple of pre-orders from uh, Greenlight. Greenlight is coming with a couple of 164 uh, skill versions of this tank. So I'm waiting for that one here. This one. Take a look at this one. Um, here we have more. I think Forces of Valor is a fantastic brand when it comes to military diecast. They also have a uh, diecast in a 172 scale. They also make helicopters, planes. Helicopters in 172, 148, I believe. Ooh, I'm still looking for this one. The F 14A Tomcat, a really cool casting from this brand in a 172 scale. It's very expensive on eBay. I have the Apache. Not sure if it's from Kuwait, but I have an Apache from this brand. Yep, I have this tank. That is super cool, but there is another one and it comes with a crazy cool diorama. It is very big. If I find it for a good price, I will definitely buy it. Ooh, this one I'm also still looking for. M2A to Bradley. This one is also available with a big diorama. And see, here it comes. It also comes with a tankular, same tripod as the one that comes with the hammer. So yes, this is, this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the short review about this super cool hammer, including accessories. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also take a look at my new channel, Diecast Dude Shorts. I really appreciate that. See you later, guys. Bye.